If you have clicked on this video, then congratulations. Cause I'm going to change your chess mindset forever. Bear with me, no need to scratch your head. If you knows about it, you will think about it. Means if you knows about the chess terminologies, you will try to implement it in your real game and it will just transform your chess thinking and you will just boost your rating. Many players don't know about it that even a chess grandmaster solves thousands of puzzles in a week by choosing the specific chess term so he doesn't miss that in his games. So today we will learn the 10 chess terms which will make you a hero. We will start with the famous term X-ray. X-ray is sometimes tricky to understand. By definition, it means if two of your pieces defend each other through an enemy piece. Like look at this puzzle, this is actually made into by using an X-ray tactics. Black wins the game by playing rook to h2 check and king is forced to g3 and here an X-ray, queen to c7 check, defending the rook through a king which is eventually a checkmate. Now we will learn about a skewer and it has a fun definition. A skewer occurred when an attack piece that has higher value moves to safety but not without exposing a lower valued piece. Like look at this example, here white has taken the advantage of a skewer by playing bishop to a4. Here if you move the rook you are going to lose the knight here and if you don't you are just going to be an exchange up. Now let's talk about many people favorite, the fork. Many players have a misconception that a fork can be only made by a knight. But the truth is every piece in a chess can do the fork even including the king. A fork by definition means a single piece that makes a move which creates a multiple threats at the same time and it is also referred as a double attack. Like look at this example, here black has played knight to f4 which creates a double attack on the white king and a queen. And only way is to capture with the e pawn which eventually gives you a queen. Now let's talk about the interference. Looks like we need a rest, let's refresh your mind by looking at the cute picture of Andrea Botes. Let's come back to the topic. Interference is a fun tactic by the definition it's mean when you block the role of an enemy piece by obstructing its path. Now this is an example for you guys. You have to make the use of an interference tactic and win the game for black. You guys can pause the video to see. Now I'm revealing the answer. If you look at the position, white rook is only defended by the queen and if we play bishop to b1, it will be an interference between rook and the queen. So you will win an exchange and a game. Now we will talk about extremely suffocating tactic for opponent, Zhuk Zhuang. Zhuk Zhuang is a German term which means it's your turn to move and all the moves are bad. Like this example, this game was played by magician of Riga, Mikael Tal, and he has the white pieces. If you look at the position, white is two points up for an exchange here, but many times if you exchange the queen here, black can makes a barrier with the king and the rook. Here Mikael Tal exchanges the queen and then plays bishop to g6, so blocking all the paths of the rook. Then black king comes to the help to defend the rook, but it is going to be the Zog Zong soon. After just pushing up the pawns, now black is in complete zug zone. If you move the king, you are going to lose the rook here. And if you take the bishop here, just you are just one pawn up and it will be a winning endgame. Now we will do the rest of the five terms in the next video as 6-7 informative video can drain your brain energy and it's very hard to focus. 